And now a CBS special presentation. Rob and Amber fell in love on Survivor and ran the amazing race. Now they're tying the knot. Rob and Amber get married next. This is the tale of two survivors. Amber. Rob. They met as all-stars. When I first met Rob. Boston style. I really didn't like him too much. I thought she was smoking hot, but she had a little attitude. Then formed an alliance. So we teamed up to win, but little did I know where it was actually going to end up. The more I got to know, the more I realized how sweet a person she is. That's when things started changing. He won her heart. Will you marry me? I can't imagine my life without her. She won a million dollars. The winner of Survivor All-Stars. <laughs> then they ran the amazing race. Go! <laughs> Come on, baby! Jump! <laughs> and stayed true to each other, even though they came up short. Robin Amber, you are the second team to arrive. The next part of my life I'm looking forward to is getting married and starting a family. Now, there's one adventure left. Wow, look at that. It's time for them to get married. I feel like a bride today. I love I this. Love look, at all, look at all this. The shoes are too pointy. Oh, really? <laughs> I got a house to furnish. Simple, Simple steps. steps for writing your marriage vows. Drops to tail, prawns, lionfish. But they gotta make it happen in only four weeks. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Nothing is ever easy with us. I know what you're upset about. Do I ever get to talk? You gotta write your vows. You have to decide who's gonna marry you. And there's your final dress fitting. The jewelry. The hair, the you pedicure, the manicure, the mixologist, the Stop! cocktail. This whole thing is like the amazing race all over again. Fasten your seatbelts. Here we go again. I mean, we're talking about Oprah's party planner here. I mean, he's done the best of the best. I'm thinking, if anybody can pull off this wedding in four weeks, Colin's the man. Welcome to Atlantis. Hi, Pleasure. Colin. Hey, buddy. So my first reaction with Colin is, Colin and I probably wouldn't be going to the same bar, if you know what I mean. So we have a wedding to plan, right? Yes. We have planned the most extraordinary, spectacular weddings around the world. You okay. any good? I'm as good as it gets. <laughs> All right. And yours will be the best. All right, that's what I like to hear. So we needed a venue, and I thought the most spectacular place on the planet is right here at the Atlantis Resort in Paradise Island in the Bahamas. It is paradise. Now we've got four weeks to plan the wedding before you guys walk down that aisle together. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to need you guys to help me do this. Are you ready for this? Let's yeah, try it. Let's ready. go make it happen. Let's go. So I have to tell you this one more thing. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. I want each one of you to come up with a couple of surprises for the other one. So, Amber, you need to come up with a surprise that's really going to touch his heart and his soul. And I want you to come up with a surprise that's going to bring tears to her eyes. Then he starts dropping in. You know, it has to be from the heart. I want you to make her cry. And I'm trying not to insult the guy because I just basically met him, you know. But he's out of his mind. This is your wedding. This is the time okay. you're going to celebrate All in front right. of the rest of the world. Add yes. another thing to the list of things to do in Absolutely. four weeks. Absolutely. <laughs> That's going to give us a big JDM at the end. <laughs> a jaw-dropping moment. Shall we oh, continue? <laughs> so Colin takes us over to a table, orders a round of drinks, and immediately we get right into it, start talking about the wedding. How many guests are we looking at? 500. 
No, 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 don't have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you one thing, having done this for 20 years, the bigger your wedding, okay, the, the more... Better. No. Yes, the bigger, Colin, you the bigger, know, the, the bigger the better. The bigger the production. The bigger the better. For me, I think a, a good number would be a number with the two in front of us. <laughs> it's gonna be tough. Some people aren't gonna feel so special after they don't get an invitation because they knew they were cut from the list. We already got a guest list of five, six hundred. And when it gets down to it, somebody's gonna have to give. And it's not gonna be me. In terms of colors, the particular color that comes to mind? Well, colors, I mean, I want to play with the colors of the ocean. I yeah. love all the teals and greens and, and blues. Which are great colors we're seeing in fashion right now, too. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Very good, exactly. I can describe this party in three words. It's just going to be fabulous. What about music? It would be great to have, like, you know, the steel drums or an amazing bohemian choir. choir. I love the idea of the choir. 